So, I've decided that instead of being mostly the grumpy guy I tend to be when I'm doing this series, I'm going to play through the level as normal without getting 100%, and then I'll go back through and check out everything that I missed and get 100%. That way I'm not getting so angry on camera and abusing rewinds and everything else. So, we're in the Deadland, which is quite like other places, but with a lot more bones sticking out of the ground. Oh no, considering Nintendo back in the day, this is kind of graphic as far as tile sets go. Because, like, I mean, they used to make you censor blood in your games, but I guess bones were A-OK. -okay. So long as there's no muscles attached. There's a thing here. And you're a cactus trap plant. Plants don't produce fully grown cacti. Gosh, Nintendo, you sure weren't realistic back in the day. So, this level may as well be called Grabbed by the Dead Goonies, but, um, Is that even what they're called? I keep calling them that, but I don't actually remember if that's what they're called or not. Got some stars here. It's great. Can't tell what's going on. I'm just describing it for all those blind viewers out there who are clearly using the internet. If you are a blind user and using the internet, I'm sorry. If not, then... supposed to get up there without more birds. They come back. Uh, it's not like I really killed them. Yeah, they did. Okay. Oops. Mario. Seriously. Stop getting so excited over nothing. Yeah, I still can't reach it. I wonder... Exactly... Like that. Okay, what's in this door? Always worth a shot. Looking. Oh, and as per usual, if I do somehow manage to, um, beat the level 100% without abusing anything, then it's cool too. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how the best way to get you to stick your bubbles the way I need them. This can be slightly less annoying and more useful, but instead Yoshi has to babysit. Because if a dinosaur can't do it, who can? And for the sake of curiosity... I'm probably gonna be getting more anyway. Okay, can't kill him. Ice melon, so I guess if it's a kill room, then... It's not very... obvious. I mean, it could be obvious, but I mean... I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. There are things that I'm exploring here. There's a plant. It's going to bring us up to a chomp rock. And some red coins. Does this continue? Yes, it does, but I don't think we want to go that way quite yet. Let's see what pushing the chomp rock can get us to possible um, hidden paths. Of course, we're being bombarded by everything that has wings. Because. Well, actually, there are some things here that don't have wings that we're talking about. What am I talking about? We're jumping the beanstalk. There's no giant at the top, though. Which was what you would believe if you were familiar with that one story about the guy who trades a cow for some magical beans. And surprisingly, it has nothing to do with fart jokes, which usually people like to make jokes about that fact because beans do cause the human body to produce more gases because of certain makeups of the beans and the fact that we can't fully digest them. And of course there's always a whole bacteria thing. And here's what our prize is, another flower. We can spread flowers and get rid of all the death and destruction in this world. They even have a happy face on them. They don't know what the genetic and evolutionary significance of that stuff is, but whatever. It's there. It's not really hurting anybody. They thrive and you throw eggs at them. Very strange evolution happening on these islands. So, so far so good, besides the whole Mario deciding he wants to flail about. Well, I guess 5 out of 20 isn't so bad, but whatever. Uh, this looks like a section where we have to throw the Koopa Troopa shell anyway, but he's not in a very good spot, so let's see if we can make him just spawn. No, wait. I think this will work. Yeah. 
brings us to the second flower. That's good. We've got our flowers, we've got a dead Yoshi. Everything is right in the world. Um, except, perhaps, that red guy down there. He could be a problem if we let him. As you can see, I let him be a problem, but it's okay because we can convert our problems into coinage, which is by far the easiest way to collect victims. Not victims. Well, I suppose they are my victims because I am a Yoshi that is trying to kill them because they're trying to kill me. I mean, it's, it's a little mutual here, I think. I don't know. I don't think there's any more Koopa shells for me to abuse. And I've got a floaty guy, but that's not really helping me. Let's gonna make that go down. And I can get that shell from here. Try letting the Koopa leaf his shell and maybe he'll respawn if we need him again. And uh, let's get another flower. Okay. I like this level so far. I wish more of um, World 5 was like this, but I guess this is the first level of World 6, so. There's no telling, it can easily turn. I have a feeling we're gonna need a shell of some sort, so. for at least two red coins. I don't think you can kill them with eggs, no. But they can steal your baby away from you. Um, that's what we need our eggs for. Alright, well that's fine and dandy. But what? Whoops. I was lucky as well. Uh, let's get some full eggs here. Eggs are full of nutrition, if you choose them to be. More coinage. So we got ten more left and two more left. In case you couldn't count. And you never know. There might be someone out there. I know there are lots of people who um, can't read on the internet. Somehow. I don't know how that works exactly, but then again... There are people that manage to get through the entirety of school without being able to read. So, to be honest, it wouldn't really surprise me a whole lot if there were people on the internet who can't read. But it does make me sad, because people should learn how to read. It's a very useful skill. I hope we weren't supposed to use Floaty Guy to get that. Because if we were, that could be a problem. Maybe we just use Bandit. I mean, he does come over here willingly. Hey, this is a no stealing baby zone. This is a random jumpy frame lag zone. Come here, you. Thank you for the boost. Don't know why I'm thanking you, you're evil. Well, I guess sometimes you have to thank your enemies. Maybe? Uh, are these reskinned? Let's follow him in case he uncorks anything. Okay, he doesn't unfork anything. I kill everybody that has my name on their face. It's all in pixels, so it's kind of hard to read, in case you're wondering. Which is why only a person with sophisticated uh, knowledge of this game can read it. So... is... anything... Curious. I wonder if I can get the screen to scroll up from jumping on this guy. Looks like I only have one egg as well, so this could be a one-shot attempt. Or not, because the Koopa guy keeps coming back. I can't quite see the clouds. I need to make sure that if it's something that needs to be on the screen for it to happen, then good. And that brings up a staircase that we need to be higher, and that's what the little bone blocks were there for. Unless... Maybe. I think that it is a possibility. If I can get it on the top step... Smash up, and let's see what's inside. Um, is this a kill room? Very cheery kill room music. This is 
to be more of the bonus music anyways. At least for one-shot zones. I don't suppose this is a kill room after all. Because I don't believe you can kill Mr. the... Eknut? Blognut? Yes, yeah, this isn't a kill room. It's a star room. That's almost the same thing, right? This music is very unfitting for an actual level section, if you ask me. Although it's giving me Donkey Kong Country vibes. I mean, I know the game's music is original to itself, but... Um, that turned into a... You know, shy guy. Uh, um, okay... Um... for our efforts, just a free one-up. Seems kind of weird this late in the game. Well, onward then. Free one-up. I guess I can't complain a whole lot. So, there was pretty much no reason to go that way, from what I could tell. Unless I missed something, which is completely possible. Hey, get your own baby. Jerk. Um, I don't even know what to do. Assuming there's a thing in that area left. Oh, my favorite sound effect in this entire game. And we're up to 30 again. Uh, is there anything in these parts? I have a feeling that there's something down in there of some sort. Kind of like at least one of these is a red coin. It's a chomp walk. Oh, I wasn't supposed to kill him. I don't think. Yeah, because now I can't get those coins without major trickery. Unless you want to help me get these coins somehow? I don't know, it's possible, but at the same time, it seems like it would just be a little explode just their legs down there. So if I didn't kill the baseball guy, he could hit the thing this way, maybe? Or maybe I can just jump on one of those guys. Also a possibility. to do is knock him into the pit. And then... 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure the middle one's not a red coin. If it is, then we'll know what one we're missing. Wow, I can't believe it took me that long to see that. No visible clouds. Yes, come here, annoying mice. Oh god, I hope he doesn't want us to, like, jump off of that one that just fell down from up here. Um, hopefully there's like a helicopter power-up or something that I'm not seeing somewhere, because... I mean, this hack has had instances where you're supposed to... Yeah, that's a Mario star up there. Need eggs. Delicious everything for you. Take that skull off your head and come follow my eggs. There we go. Uh, what? Um, okay, let's start it again. Let's just run. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Is there anything over here? One flower, that's the last flower we need, and we got five more red coins. And as far as I can tell, we can still transform into baby. Super Mario, so that's good. Wonder is anything in that blocked off section over there. If there's anything else up here, but I'm gonna transform back. <laughs> You'd think I was doing this on purpose. And judging by everything, there's nothing else to look at, okay? Just wanted to make sure, because you never know in this game. Darn it, that is not what I wanted. Cower here in fear. Why'd they even give him a ducking animation? Oh, I guess because you know whether or not you're looking up or down. So, that's that for that part of the level. Unless we were supposed to coax the star into coming over this way, which I highly doubt. That'd be ridiculous. Oh lord. Um, do I have any more egg opportunities? I mean, I suppose I have that full egg item in my inventory, but I didn't really want to use it today. Yeah, Yoshi fan, that that was gonna happen. Ugh, Lord, that was so gonna happen. So I basically have turned on easy mode, and from what I can tell, this will be the first semi-legit level in a long time. Wow, amazing! That level was amazingly good. Like, seriously, if all the levels of this hack were like this, I would be so happy with this hack. But whatever, I'm gonna leave it at one level for this video because this went really smoothly and I'm happy with it. <laughs> uh, look at me, not being Mr. Grumpy Pants as I usually am. And we get our match the items because it's the easiest way to get stuff in this game, to be honest. Uh, I'm gonna set my eyes on the prize, and in this case, the prize is gonna be the magnifying glass in the full. So, yeah. I just cut to a ride. Inevitably die. And 
in all senses of irony. I did not mean to do that well. Oh well, free 10 up. And this time I'll remember to save state so I can actually keep my lives. I wish the game would just add 10 to your total without having to count up each single one. It's like a two-year-old wrote this program. Anyways, next time it looks like a Koopa Troopa, or no, that's not a Koopa Troopa, that's a Yoshi. And it's on those blocks that disappear when you stand on them too long. Well, if any level in World 6 was going to go well, it was going to be this one, so... Uh, see you guys next time.